AMT's Holloway trailer coming up next on Monster Hobbies. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, welcome back to another exciting unboxing and review and build video on Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage. And today I've got a special treat coming out from round two is the AMT Highway Holloway trailer. This one's really cool because you can actually put five model cars on here. Two on the bottom, three on the top. It's got a ramp that drops down so you can take your model cars off. And then you can lift the ramp up and keep it locked in position just like the real ones. This kit is of course a re-release. Came out originally in the 70s as you can tell by the box. This of course is designed to fit on the AMT cab and trailers which are really cool. If you take a quick look here, you can see all the great features that are in this model kit from the box and of course the operating details like the lifting gate here. And of course on the other side of the box is much the same and then that great artwork on the end. So without further ado, let's open this thing up, take a look at the parts and then for a change I'm going to try to build this thing. So stay tuned. So here we have our Holloway trailer right on our table and let's take a look at these great parts. So to start off with we have those amazing side rails which are here which are going to show us the cars underneath as well as the ones on top. Then we've got this amazing floor pan and you can even see if the camera can focus in here. These runners have little holes in them to capture all your tires on your, your cars, keep them in place just like the real thing. You can see underneath where all the other bits are going to go. Then here we have our top deck. And again, it's got all those nice little detail holes in here, as well as these great ribs, nice and flat on the bottom. This is the swing down gate mechanism. You can see, of course, all the little bars and everything in here that are going to hook onto your hinges and whatnot. So again, very nice. Then we have the rails that are going to drop down here off the trailer to pick the cars up as well as the back of the trailer here with the lights and whatnot. So you can see again great detail on those pieces. Then here we have the upper underneath front piece. This of course would be sitting this way so that you can get another car up in there. And then of course we have a bunch of the wheel parts and whatnot off the end. And finally, for the gray pieces, we have our springs and a bunch of the blocks to lock the car wheels in, as well as the tanks and other pieces needed, and the legs for our trailer, just to keep it down off the truck. Then we get into the nice chrome components. You get a, a great set of wheels here. Very nice double deep dish and whatnot. Then we have our tail lamps and turn signal marker lights which of course are standard on all these big rigs the nice Goodyear tires here you can see the great detail on them and then we have these amazing decal sheet number 56 with the city transporter the city car releasing company which will of course go on the side you can see the city transporter there interesting that it's blue here and on the box it looks kind of black but at any rate, let's go down and put this thing together and see how it looks once it's all done. And so there's only one way to build this model kit in a great big hurry, and that's with a great Canadian montage! Montage! <laughs>
Here we have AMT's Holloway trailer at the end of the day after I cleaned up all the seam lines and everything that you saw in our little video montage. The kit goes together quite well, actually. There's little teeny tabs along here that uh, I thought would be a little bit too flimsy, but it does glue on there nice and strong. I glued it together this way on the table, putting the bottom first and then these bits in and everything, and it ended up squaring it up really nicely. It has the lift up uh, part here for the cars to go in and this you can actually get into place by spreading it out a little bit here and it will pop in. I don't have the struts made up yet because those of course will have to be painted as two separate pieces. You do get the little rails in here which go nicely right on there and there. Oops. They just sort of sit in place, so when you load up your car, you know, you can take these off again. And then I got this rear axle all put together. As you can see, it was quite an easy build as well. A little bit of cleaning, a little bit of filing and whatnot. There's these two little rods that stick out sort of at that 90 degree angle. Those will head toward the back of the trailer and glue on just like that. So what I'm going to do now is off camera, I'm going to pop this thing out and then I'm going to paint our Holloway trailer. I think I'll do the same yellow on here because it seems like it's pretty easy to, to do. And then we'll come back and look at that nicely finished paint job. And here's our car trailer painted in trim clad yellow. Now, <laughs> after painting this, actually a little bit before, I kind of realized that I shouldn't have glued this thing all together and then attempted to paint it. But I wanted to get this thing done kind of, you know, quickly. <laughs> um, I ended up with some drips and sags in this thing. There's spots where uh, the paint overlapped. You know, I painted a couple of coats on here and it overlapped and the first coat got attacked by the second coat. All kinds of nightmares, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so if you build this, I would suggest um, suspending the sides somewhere with a wire or whatever, painting them first, getting it nice, because my main problem was trying to get paint inside this frame by shooting it through the holes. Yeah, that's not the way to go. <laughs> anyway, the back uh, gate here ended up really nice because I did suspend it. But as you can see, this thing is large, doesn't even fit in my little uh, filming area too well. But it does go together nicely. And underneath, of course, looks good. Funny, the underside was the best part of this. It always seems like when I do these models, <laughs> the parts nobody sees has the most perfect paint. The part everybody does see is the part that gets all wrinkled up. Anyway, let me know how you guys end up doing this in the comments below. But uh, there's our trailer, looking nice. And just to um, have a little bit of fun here, there's my Chrysler 300 sitting on the deck. Let's see how nice this is going to end up looking. Oops. There we go. Let's get that on this, the plates. Oh, the Chrysler's a bit narrower. <laughs> well, anyway, you can see how cool this is going to end up looking once it's all together. So here's that folding deck plate, and as you can see, I suspended it by a wire when I painted it. And therefore, it ended up with a perfect finish. There's no attack or anything like that. No sags. Only just a minor little spot right there in the center. It's got a bit of a, I guess it looks like a crack, but it's because of the wire was sitting right there and covered it with the spray. So here's the deck plate itself. And what we would do is slip this in here. And then <laughs> separate this out. And pop it right into there. 
And there's that rear ramp. Able to swing up just like that. And then I've got to wait for those little um, hydraulic lifts to glue in. I mean, to for the paint to dry on the hydraulic lifts. And then there's a little pin that you press in. And then it hooks up on a little thing there and there. Little pins. And then it'll be able to lift up a certain height. I'm not sure if it's going to lock in, but it'll still function the way it's supposed to function. Here we have the rest of our painted parts. These are the hydraulics, and I covered the operational bits with tape. I glued these together first, of course. I didn't want to paint them in case when these go up and down it starts scraping paint off and making it look horrible in the future. So I left them as a grey plastic, which should be alright. There's our rear axle, the wheel hubs, the little red chocks for stopping the cars, and our yellow ramps. And because the yellow ramps are separate, I was able to paint them very nicely. These cars, like our lift gate, are perfect, perfectly painted. No wrinkles or attacks or anything. So this kit should be fun once we get it all together. Here we have our Holloway trailer, almost complete. It's about 98% done. Just got to put the decals on, touch up some of these little areas that didn't get paint. Uh, our hydraulics fit on these little pins here, but I've noticed a problem with them. The pins, of course, you can't glue them on. So you need something on here, the ends, just so that this doesn't fall off. And it will want to do that if you pick this thing up and tilt it. So just so you know, you need to uh, get some evergreen um, rod and drill some holes in it. Cut off a little donut and then glue it on the ends of these so that you don't lose them. Now, uh, here it is being lifted up. What happens is these t tend to bend out a little bit, which will um, put this stopper at an angle, which will keep this gate up. You can see the nice work here. Sorry, you got to see some of my ugly backdrop. <laughs> this thing's so large, I can't really zoom in or out. See, I've uh, got the red tail lights on here, which looks nice. I still need to put the license plate on here. Um, there isn't an actual plate, it's just the frame in this model. So, hopefully, the new one from AMT will correct that and give us a trucker license plate. There, I got my wheels on and the little red side markers. Or reflectors, I guess. And the little chrome steps, there, there, and there. And then all these little yellow reflectors. I had to scrape the paint away just behind where they mount. Of course, so that I could get plastic to plastic. And like I said here, I just left it the light grey plastic. Because I didn't want to have this painted. And then, you know, if I'm moving this up and down, eventually these get scraped off and it looks awful. <laughs> okay, anyway can see just on my uh, Lazy Susan this thing just fits. It's going to hit that post uh, right there. But anyway, see all the little chrome steps on here and everything. This does turn out pretty nice even if my paint job on here is not quite the best. Uh, here, I'm just going to move this for a sec so you can see the front. Okay, so moving this along here. Ooh, I don't know if... Oh. Swinging right in front of the camera. Yeah, okay. This thing is so long. I just gotta be careful not to. Oh, I'm gonna knock it off. Okay, there's only one bit that I'm missing here, and there's this hose setup. Uh, I do believe on the real truck it's to hook up for the rear brakes or something. I'm not really sure how it hooks up. The instructions just show this thing from behind, and it's got the hose sticking out, and it goes glue here, you know, and it's not showing you in the front. So maybe AMT would fix that in the instructions too. Not sure on the new one. But it's supposed to be here somewhere along this panel. So when I get the decals on, I'll try to figure out where it goes for sure. Let's get this up there a little more. And then again, um, yeah, here, I'll try to zoom in a bit. Okay, there, there you can see the yellow side marker lights, or the amber ones. 
Or not side micro lights, they're reflectors. Maybe they are lights. <laughs> I'm not sure. I've never seen one of this, these types of trailers up close for real. But you can see the nice detail you will get out of this kit, and the fit and finish is not too bad. Again, like I said, paint this thing in separate pieces, then glue it together. Don't glue it together, then paint it. Because I've run into, you know, drips and sags in the paint. And I've got um, overspray on here because I was only able to paint up... Sorry, you can't see where I'm pointing. <laughs> okay, as I was saying, I got overspray up in here because I was trying to paint the front and then my paint ran out. And then when I did get some more paint, it started to attack it. So I think it would be better just to suspend all these pieces, paint the individual pieces the colors you want, then glue it together, because it's easier to scrape off and do a little touch-up than it is to, you know, screw up the whole side like I did. But at any rate, on film, it looks great. This thing will never be in a model car contest for big points, so I can get away with it. It's just, just going to be in maybe a store display or something for Monster Hobbies. I'm not sure. Got to figure that one out. But for now, it's part of my personal thing. Now here on the rear wheel, I've used trim clad. It's a dark gray. That was at center hub. And then, of course, the rest of the wheels are chrome. They're a multi-piece bit. Uh, you get a front and a back and a little retainer clips in there to hold the tires on. But, you know, overall, it looks quite nice. My axle, the metal part, is a little bit bent. So if this was to roll, one wheel kind of hops a bit. That's just my axle. <laughs> I could have straightened it up, but I wanted to get this video done quickly. So just so you guys know. And now the decals are supposed to go up along the bottom here and some other stuff. So I'm going to put those on and then make those little bits for the uh, hydraulics at the top just to lock them in place. Do a little touch up and then we'll see the finished trailer. Here's our trailer after we applied the decals and you can see the nice black and red stripe. Now this is such a long stripe that somewhere in here is an overlap. I think it's right there. I tried to line that red stripe up as best I could. Uh, number 56, according to the box art, is supposed to be around here somewhere. But because of the height of the numbers, I couldn't fit it in. So I figured this was the best logical choice. And then the city transporter decal is up here. And then this, uh, I made a little mistake. City Car Releasing Company. I thought, okay, that should go in here somewhere. And it, it fit in this little spot. And then I was looking at the box art, and this is actually supposed to go on the truck door that you hook this up to. So, on the cab. So I did make a little mistake, but overall you can see it turned out nice. I put the little caps up here just to lock the uh, hydraulics in place. I There's only two parts left that need to be put on here because there's still wet paint right now. One is a little license plate thing that goes on here, which I painted semi-gloss black. And then, of course, the other is the hose that's up front. This is going to hit over here on my stand. But anyway, I'm going to put some cars on this. Maybe take a picture of this thing outside. But basically, this is your trailer once you're all done. And here's our tailgate in operation. So I'll just put my finger here to support it for a minute. Tilt these forward until they release. And then there it goes, dropping down all nice. Well, we hope you enjoyed this great review of the Holloway trailer by AMT under the round two banner. And if you're looking for this one right away, don't forget to check it out on Auto World, of course, the round two selling website. So what are you going to haul on your Holloway trailer? Well, how about some of these great kits that are available at Monster Hobbies, again from AMT, like the 55 Chevy Cameo, or maybe you want to do NASCAR, so here's a great 69 Mercury Cyclone, also a Coca-Cola edition. And back here, <laughs> we also have the Bobby Allison Chevy 
which was also a NASCAR. They're both Bobby Allison, actually. So don't forget to check those out. Again, like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Check out our website, www.monster-hobbies.com. Subscribe, and we'll see you again on the next video.